Hi everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. Square root of um x to the power of three plus x equals two. Okay, this is simple because we know what to do already. Okay, so what I want to do is to make sure I balance the left hand side and the right hand side. On the left right here I have 2 but I can write 2 as 1 plus 1 right so if I go ahead again I can express this in this form and it will not change anything x to the power of 3 plus x is equal to 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 so we can now compare and see that the real solution to this equation is 1. x equals 1. But we need more than one solution. So there will be need for us to continue. We write x to the power of 3. This will come here to become 1 to the power of 3. Then plus I have this x which I have now written. Okay, so I will have positive x then this is minus 1 nothing is on the right hand side so we'll put 0 there right so to continue with this we're going to factorize this separately and then deal with this separately here we have difference of two cubes your a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is the same thing as a minus b into into a okay let me set it well into a squared plus a b plus b squared right okay i think it's visible enough now so this is what it is so now my a is x so i'm going to write x in place of a minus b we have x minus one then into a squared is going to be x squared, then plus AB, that will be x times 1, and it is x. Then plus B squared is going to be 1 squared, and that is still 1. Then plus x minus 1. So we equate this to 0. Now if you look at this, you discover that x minus 1 is here, and it's also there. We call it a common factor. So it comes out as the common factor. Then in here, we'll have x squared plus x plus 1. Then plus this one is already out. So x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1. We close and equate to 0. Okay, so to continue... We will have x minus 1, still the common factor. Then open this bracket and add 1 and 1. So we now have x squared plus x plus 2 in this bracket. And we equate this to 0. Okay, so we are going to continue from here. Okay, so since we are multiplying these two to get 0, Either of them must be equal to 0. So our x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x squared plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now let me pick this first. So x will be 0 plus 1. Then our x is 1. This is one of the solutions. This right here is one of the solutions. And then if you pick this up, we're going to have x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. This is quadratic, right? And like we've always done, let's use the formula method for this. The formula still remains x equals minus b plus or minus okay here it is 
Okay, so we have square root of b squared minus 4ac and we divide by 2a. Now, our x from here is equal to minus b. Okay, so let's put directly into the formula already. So I'm going to remove this. And what we'll do is to get our a, our b, and our c. a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is also 1. And c is a constant, which is 2. So that means that here we'll have minus, minus 1. Then plus or minus, we'll now have um, b squared, which, which will be 1 squared. We have 1 squared. Then minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, then times 2. This is because our c is 2. All of this will be divided by 2 times 1, because a is 1. Now, to continue, our x is minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 2 is going to be 8 and this will be divided by 2 just like we can see then we continue so that x will now be minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 8 is going to be minus 7. Then we divide this by 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution because of this plus or minus. So let's break it into 2. Okay, so our x now is equal to minus 1 plus square root of negative 7 divided by 2 or minus 1 minus square root of negative 7 divided by 2. This is positive and this is negative. Now, another thing we can do, we can pick out this negative if we want to. So that x will be negative 1 plus this minus 7 in there, the negative will come out as i. Then we have root 7 and we divide by 2. So on the other side, on the other side, we'll have negative 1, negative. This negative comes out as i. Then we have root 7 as we divide by 2. So by this, we have solved this completely. Let's bring the three solutions together very quickly. We had x1, which is equal to 1, the first solution. Then our x2 is from here which is minus 1 plus i root 7 divided by 2 these are x2 now our x3 is minus 1 minus i root 7 and we divide by 2 so these are the three solutions to the equation